Hey there, Brew Bearings, what's up, and welcome to another episode of a Brewing Build. Today we're back, and we have some fun things to do. Um, uh, today is going to be a little bit of a different thing than I was really planning on doing. So, last episode, we built, firstly, and let me put my clothes back on, because I really don't want to die. Last episode, we built this cool boy over here and uh, the bathhouse and i think it turned out really really awesome i absolutely love it. it seemed like you guys really liked it as well and i really love the aesthetic that it has brought to this area i really just love the completeness of it and also the foliage around it and that is uh, something that we're going to be tackling today so i was fully intending on starting into the windmill today but I am really struggling with the design of the windmill. I'm really just not sure what I want to do. I originally was going to go to for a mimic of the lighthouse design that we did in season one, um, which I can show you actually right now. So this is the lighthouse from season one. I think it looks absolutely epic. We're in our creative test world and I absolutely love, love, love the design of this lighthouse. I think it looks super cool and it's really, really awesome. And I was going to go with the general like shape of it, not necessarily copying the materials and stuff. As you can see, I started playing around with a concept and the more I played around with it, the more I was like, I don't think it's going to fit and or work in this area. Because if you think about it, think about we're coming up on the hill here and then suddenly the lighthouse windmill type of concept is that tall on top of the hill surrounded by buildings that are roughly as tall as that. It would just feel entirely, entirely out of place. And so I'm kind of going back to the drawing board on what I want to do. And what I'm thinking about doing is doing a much more stumpy version um, and getting rid of this entire like thick base thing and really just going hard into the whole concept of like just a really stumpy lighthouse. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, we're not going to have an attachment like this either. It's going to be strictly just a lighthouse. And the reason why I'm thinking about this is because it does not need, because it's going to be a windmill and it's going to be a lighthouse, it doesn't need to be, and because the town's not like super crazy, like it's an island, it's not a big island, it doesn't need to be massive. It doesn't need to be this tall. Um, I'm trying to just rethink it and make it also, have you ever seen this? Have, 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 have I ever showed you this concept? Never seen the light of day on the channel, but uh, I spent a long time planning out a potential like, nether build and uh, i think this is pretty epic looking random but uh yeah so basically the reason why i'm struggling and we're not doing the lighthouse windmill thing today is because i just don't have a concept made and uh i i've been racking my brain as to what to do um so one thing I did want to say is if you have any concepts that you have seen that you've thought of or anything like that, please feel free. Put them in my discord. There is a build inspiration section and or if you have builds like a lighthouse windmill build that you've done that you think would be really cool, definitely share that because I would absolutely love to see it uh, because I am definitely on the struggle bus right now of trying to figure it out. And I've been like, we'll, we'll have it figured out by next week, but I'm just trying my best to, I want it to be a good concept, but I think what I'm learning from this whole process is it's just not necessary for me to go as big as I'm thinking. And I think that's a good thing to struggle to like struggle through. Like you have this grand idea and then you're like, oh, actually it doesn't need to be as massive and grand as it was going to be. And that's okay. So all that said, uh, that means we need to figure out something else to do for today, because that was really what I was planning on doing for this week was doing starting in on the on the windmill. Um, what I thought today would be a good time uh, for us to do is uh, the regardless, even if next week we don't, I don't have this this figured out, and I don't know what to do, and I like even if we just barely start it. There's plenty of things that we could start in on, and the windmill is not going to hold us back on progressing. And I'm not going to let it do that. So uh, we have plenty to do 
for today's episode. And I think it's actually gonna be really good. It's gonna make this area feel far more complete than it is now. Uh, you saw a little bit of what I was starting to get into um, down here, and that is figuring out the texture, and we're down here. As I was saying, uh, figuring out the texture gradient over to from uh, terracotta to andesite. This is what it, what it is going to look like. We need quite a bit more, well, not even a quite a bit more. We just need a decent amount more of the yellow coral. Uh, and so when it's dead, it, it looks more like a cobblestone material. And so I thought that that would make a good transition block between this block to this block to the coral to the andesite. And I think that looks good. The reason why we need this transition is because andesite is a very cool color, especially our texture. It uses the same colors as the normal andesite color, but it is a very, very cool color. Um, and so we need to have that sort of gray warmth that can transition the sort of cobbly texture over to the warmer terracotta that is a little bit more gray and then that can transition over into this terracotta and so that is how I, at least i'm going about it uh, so i need to get more of that which is like three thousand blocks actually in that direction and uh, that's okay though because we have uh plenty of plenty to do while i go and do that um, basically these grass blocks are here also just to be like, I'm going to put stairs and stuff around them, make them like planters and stuff, make them just like a little public planter area where we have small bushes and things just to add a little bit of life. That's all that today's episode is going to be focused on is adding life to our town. We have things built up. We have buildings and stuff, but we don't have any foliage around. We don't really have any trees. We have a couple trees, I guess, but the goal is going to be to add life. So we're going to be starting down here, adding life stuff to this. We're going to finish off the dock section there as well. Um, and we're going to really just focus on making this place feel a little bit more alive than it does now. And we're going to be doing that through multiple means. There's going to be like some stalls selling fish that we're going to have right here because they'll be just like an extension of this. People that don't necessarily have a spot over here can have spots over here. There's plenty of room here for that. There's also going to be nets and things just to add a little bit of dock life to this. Um, and then over on this section, I am thinking about adding a small little dock walkout uh, right here to where his stairs go down. And then there is a horizontal dock right here that boats can, it will have one that sticks out here where a boat can kind of like dock right here, be able to get off. It'll have access to this house's basement as well, because the house's basement goes right up to the wall. So I thought that would be interesting to bring in a little bit of a, an entrance to that and then we could have even some extra storage or something there like it's like a i don't know bulk storage area or something like that so that could be interesting so i'll add a little bit of life here we can bring the pathway a little over here this grassy area will remain grass of course and uh, we're going to be adding wherever there's grass we just need to add bushes we need to add some trees we're going to be adding more of these planted azalea trees we're going to be adding more of those stacked ones as well and that is kind of the goal let us get into some of the life building stuff that make builds feel more alive. So like this right now, very plain. We're gonna add some flowers, gonna add some bushes and plants. It's just gonna make it add, like just feel a little bit more alive, more alive here. Like there's not a ton that needs to be done, just needs to have some grass and stuff. Also, all of our, our villagers are zombies, which is a problem, but uh, I don't have any golden apples, so I'm not gonna feed them. Uh, and then we're going to be working in chunks. So we're going to work down there and then we're going to do anything that is on this level. But this level is pretty much the most complete right now because uh, we did. I spent a decent amount of time doing that. So we're going to finish off this cliffy section, make sure it feels good. Then we're going to move on to this area. And this is going to be really just about adding a few trees, probably one right there where there's already uh, rooted dirt. And uh, we're just going to add as much life and stuff as we can. Maybe a couple benches and stuff just to make it feel a little bit more like a park. Going to remove these uh, vines and stuff just because I don't think they are necessary. And uh, this path is actually going to remain dirt because I think it fits fine with the aesthetic of the park. And then this, of course, is going to remain the same as well. And so we're going to be doing that. And so that is the next section we'll work with. All the pa main paths, this will remain dirt. This will be going into andesite. And then we're going to be working up here, finishing off these buildings. And I think overall, it's going to be good. It's going to make it feel better. I think we're going to figure out some way to do this walkway edge a little bit better. So there's like a little bit of a guardrail. 
and then I think that will be good. And so essentially the goal for today is to complete the rest of the island, uh, doing all the small stuff that adds a little bit of life that I was going to do off camera, but because I'm struggling here, figured we could do it on camera. And uh, if you guys see anything and you have ideas and stuff, I can always go back and add it. So that is what we're going to be doing. That is the plan. The first thing, oh, and we're gonna we're gonna potentially near the end fix that bad boy and make it so that I've already gotten rid of the coral and all that and blocked it off. I removed all the coral just because we need I needed it to build with anyways. So we're going to try and repurpose this a little bit to being an automatic kelp farm, and I think it'll be fine. I think it'll work out. Uh, and so I'll try and figure out something. We may have to get rid of the water uh, right now, that which is fine but that will come at the end. And so right now we're gonna focus on the dock area, starting to get that up. And I'm not gonna do this in a time-lapse. I'm just gonna purely do this in kind of just stages and stuff. And so the first stage is dock area. I need to go get more of this coral stuff. And so it's gonna take me a moment to go do that. So I will be back in just a moment and we'll get to building up the dock area, getting in some life and stuff and making this uh, place start feeling like people are living here so let's get on going to it all right i've been doing a little bit of work got the gradient on the floor pretty much done um or i guess the ground and pretty much done and i also put in two of the two, these two sort of planter things and it just adds a little bit of decor and stuff takes up a bit of space as well adds a little bit of life because we don't i don't want to fill this entire place out i don't think that is the proper way to go about it um, we are going to want, where's my workbench? Is it up here? I believe so. Yes, indeed. Let's take this and this and bring it on down. I have been having a weird issue where let's make sure. Yeah, my FOV is fine. I have been having like a weird issue of being getting like, I guess the best way I can describe it is like motion sick because of playing Minecraft and it's bizarre. I don't really know why exactly I'm it's like happening, but it's very strange and I'm not really, I'm not that big of a fan of it. Um, it. It's just real weird. I don't normally get ocean sick except for like when I'm in a car, but something about Playing Minecraft today is making me making my eyeballs feel, start feeling weird. And then, oh, it's it's not very pleasant at all. Uh, any of you ever deal with that? Because I've, I've had it had issues with it before when I've had like FOV issues where I like go to take a screenshot and I was like this or something like that. And I'm running around like this and I don't realize it, but not when I'm at normal. I know some people play like further out uh, their FOVs further out to feel more like some other games, but I have always played at normal FOV and it's been fine. I don't know. Very strange. But anywho, so we're going to be making right here. I think let's see one, two, three. Eh, why don't we just do three? Um, we're going to be making a one, two, three type of uh, thingy. And I want actually maybe you know what? Maybe we'll do four like this. And then I would like to actually do these wings being a little different. This is not going to be anything particularly crazy. It is just going to purely be a little bit of a stall. Nothing crazy at all. Just a stall. And that's it. Um, just something to stand by for them to stand by. Uh, actually, what we could do just to make it a little bit more realistic, kind of going off of like what a Skyrim stall would be like, where they have goods here that they can uh, have access to here. We'll put some, uh, what are those things called? The uh, the things, you know, the item frames. We'll put some item frames down. You know, that's something they should add. They should add item frames that are invisible. I know they have like via commands, you can do that. But I think they should add them just in the game. Um, let's add, I have a couple signs here. Let's add some signs like so, just to make it a little bit more interesting there. I think that'd be good. And then I'm kind of thinking of doing some, let's see, if we're gonna do this, oof, I don't know exactly how to do this. Uh, let's, or, there we go. And then maybe we do this and then uh, I 
guess we could do it off centered, but I'm kind of thinking we'd go about it with the blue in the center would be fine. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Let me get some cyan dye. Small update as well. I had to go and get some wool from our sheepies over there. Uh, I'm going to just do this type of thing for our wall here. I'm not going to go with the copper design that we had over there. And that is purely because copper is a pain to get right now. And I don't want to do it. It's not very fun to get copper. Uh, so if I naturally get it, great. If I don't, then it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to try and do this kind of transition um, over on the walls and stuff and pick up all that copper and stuff just to make it a little bit easier. Now let's get the cyan dye and get some cyan going here. And there we go. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. I think we're going to put a banner here and then we'll put a banner here and then put Essentially, what we could do if we really want to make it a little more complete, if we really do want that, maybe we add some wood on either side could be good. I don't know if that will feel too strange. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Primarily just thinking about like making it so that there's a place for them to stay out of the, you know, water or rain um and so maybe like this could be that or maybe what we do is we do some trap doors and that could look good as well get just a touch more right here boom bang bada bing boom 12 right there that is something i think should be a vanilla thing but oh well yeah, I think that looks good just like a cutesy little stall doesn't need to be anything too particularly crazy we could even add carpets on top if we really want to but the whole thing that this is going to be selling is like fish and all that uh, and so we're going to have a fish one and we're going to have a I'm potentially thinking about doing a kelp one what was I coming in here for uh item frames and then also some salmon and some raw cod now I know the raw cod the salmon is cooked but uh okay let's grab some of these guys boop boop we'll put salmon in right like so and then we'll put the fish in like so and so there we go we have a little fish market right there and a little separated out stall that isn't necessarily in here but is uh gonna be perfectly fine i think this will be maybe this is like cooked fish or something like that maybe that's what they're selling is like food or something like that uh, i think that could be good now what i'd like to do is add Another stall, I would like to make it maybe perhaps just a little bit bigger. And maybe what we do is we make it so that it's like right here, starting right here. And then let's add a little bit. Do we have kelp in here? We do. Let's add just a little bit of composter because I think that'll make an interesting top. We'll be putting item frames and stuff on it so you won't see the top anyways we'll do something like that and then perhaps what we do is actually use a log we haven't used that we're going to strip it though and actually this needs to be one more there we go a nice little corner area and the reason we're doing a corner is because i would like to make like a little storage thing here uh, to where there is just a pile of kelp dried kelp that is and uh, then I'd like to make a little drying station over here as well so this is like their stock and then they have a little bit of a drying station to where they are keeping it all I think that was nice and dandy so let's go ahead we're going to be emulating that exactly so it's going to be two here and then two on top of here and two right here and then, of course, I think this is actually we're just going to emulate the same colors and stuff as well. And then the way that we're going to be covering up these is going to be a variety of things. I think we'll add some of this, which does add a like a, a top to it. So it just looks like it's just sitting there. So we're going to do a couple of those. And then what I'd like to do actually is add in a few of these guys, which will cover it up as well. And then it kind of just makes it feel like one solid thing. And so let's do this in there, get these two going right here. And then we're going to grab a little bit of dried kelp like so, put that there and we'll put that there in there. And I think that'll be good. Shift that around right like that. 
And there we go, we have a nice little kelp area. Now we need to make a drying station right quick. And I have no idea how to do this. And so let me go ahead and figure that out really quick. I'm not gonna make it anything too particularly crazy. So I'll go and do that real quick. I'm also gonna potentially put some banners right there. Ah, this place is feeling much more lively now that we have a little bit more of the dock area worked out. I'm liking it. I think it looks good. So eventually I will add stairs and stuff in to make the ground a little bit more interesting in terms of the andesite area. So that is no problemo. Add a little grass here. And then we've got our stalls, the grassy area here. And I added these little fishing nets. And I think uh, they're looking pretty good. Got some fish in them. This is when I really wish that we had invisible item holding systems. I think that could be really cool, but alas, we don't have them, but that's okay. So we're going to move on from the dock area, but I will be in between uh, now and the next clip. I will be going and getting quartz, or at least by the end of the video, I will have done this section. We just need one more pillar here because we'll have one two three four five six seven so right here right here is going to be another pillar of quartz all the way down and then i will go through and fix up the wall section too so then the whole dock area will be entirely done and that will be absolutely beautiful so um and then i also will add some trees and stuff here just to add a little bit of nature i may add like a little blanket or something like that something around here um actually we're gonna add a, maybe a tree here and then bring the pathway over here and then do that small dock area but that's not anything crazy special so we will move on and go up to the park area i think that will be good i don't want to look at you because you're ugly um and uh yeah we're gonna kill 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 kill, kill. <laughs> there we go kill that guy so now let's work on getting this area figured out so i'm thinking i'm gonna make this just like maybe a bench right here bring out the stone here as well i think that'd be nice and dandy i think that'd be good so what we're gonna do here is as i had said add some trees i've got a tree right here but i'm gonna i think i'm gonna take a fortune i got a fortune on my axe i'm gonna try and get as many saplings as i can and uh, if it works, it works. If not, well, it's okay. We'll have to use some moss and stuff, but that's okay. So next order of business is the park, getting it all situated. So I will see you when that is done. All right, so I've been doing quite a bit of work on the park, and I would say it is relatively done. I don't think there's really much else that I can add to it to make it any better. I just made the cliffs here nice and uh overgrown these obviously need trimmed i was just letting them grow and then we'll trim them down to the exact height that we want but that is okay added a tree right here just to add just a little bit of framing so that when you walk up you've kind of got this like nice view here and this tree will block a little bit of the view of the uh windmill but hopefully what i'm kind of hoping is like you'll be able to see the windmill on either side and that'll make it so it's like you're kind of like what in the what is here and then you come up here and you're like oh, oh my gosh this windmill's huge and that's kind of what i'm wanting exactly like that um and so yeah i've extended the pathway all the way over to the bathhouse now so now we have a nice andesite pathway all the way over this is going to be we're going to have some paths that go up to doors and stuff on this side and so most of this will probably end up being andesite as well i'm just out of it right now so i need to go in mine this is not going to change until we actually start up on the windmill um, and this is what the park is looking like now. So we've got like this nice too tall azalea tree and we've got some really cool things here. Kept the dirt path because I think it fits better with the aesthetic. This is a really fun thing. So I added a park bench here, just like a, a, a big old bench. And then I decided, you know what? Maybe the kids in the area would like to have a little reading nook or something. So I added this little little itty bitty reading nook thing that kind of like goes down and so parents can sit and enjoy the pond and kids can be down here and, and enjoy the little uh, little reading nook. I'm going to replace a couple of these, maybe just this one with bookshelves. I think that would be good. And yeah, this uh, lectern is supposed to just be emulating like a book on the ground. That's about as close as I can get, though. So I think it's still cool. I think it still feels interesting. And then this I decided to I got rid of the um glow berries and oh and the bench right there got rid of the glow berries on this and decided to add two hanging swings i think this is a, a really cool design i found it on a, well i found a, a version of it 
on just a Google image search and thought it was really cool. Modified it a bit to make it, I don't know, a little bit more interesting. I think having a slab in the center makes it a little bit more interesting shaped, makes it like a little bit more sturdy looking and then added the chains. It had like iron bars or something, but now we have chains and I think those look better. But I really like the, the look of this. I think it's nice. It makes you still want to be able to walk through it, but it doesn't make it like useless and uh, have no purpose. And then of course added a ceiling just to make it more complete. And on this side, azalea tree, real tall one that's kind of wacky shaped, but I honestly, I'm kind of just letting the azaleas grow how they want and letting them just be weird because I think, oh, I do need to get rid of that. Oh well, but I'm letting the azaleas just grow and be them because they're kind of like savanna trees. It's like, why try and contain them when that's just how they wanna grow? And then of course down here, doesn't really change. Not gonna really make the, the pathways here uh, out of andesite or anything because they're supposed to be kind of like off the beaten path. So they do fade out as well. And then we're connected back up. And I think I'm just loving how this is turning out. I think it's making this area feel so, so much better. Um, and so now what I'd like to do is I need to get some resources to tackle these buildings. We have actually enough calcite, I think, to finish them out, which is great. Um, so I'm going to start adding in all of these details. We have like the majority of the main block placing. So now it's just like putting windows and stuff in, figuring out where floors are going to go. And I think that's going to be a good thing to do. And then maybe some front gardens or something like that. I think that'll be good. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more warped wood and uh, start doing this building because we have plenty of other resources and none of them are really that difficult to get. Um, we just need to get some more andesite and then I think we'll be good to, to keep on building. So I'm going to go and tackle that. Oh, and I'm going to do this. And here's this, this little dock. I forgot to show this. I'm going to put a tree here and then this is the little dock area. And so the idea of this is that this is like the main area for doing things working on the docks and i didn't want to interfere with the design so this is where ships can dock at the docks and i think it's a it's a nice thing so the idea is like they would be horizontal here so any size ship can really come here it can be like a nice small fishing ship or it can be a big old galleon and it should be able to kind of fit and be able to make it here now i do need to complete this and so uh, I'm going to work on that as well in between clips, but I thought I'd show you the update. We do also have a connection to this house right here. Uh, we've got a little doorway that goes right here into the basement and eventually we'll do this. We'll probably, I'm thinking of making this like bulk, bulk storage for like massive amounts of stone and stuff. If we do acquire that just because up there is only one chest and that's probably not enough. I'm already full on that chest. And so I just need another place for it. So that is, uh, that is good, but I am loving adding these little detail bits. It's making this island come to life in so many ways and it's so much fun to be able to see it finally come to life and like being able to see the docks complete, all sorts of stuff here. Oh, it's good. We need to get these villagers cured at some point so that we can then have them just start breeding out the wazoo and then we can have villagers running all over the place. And I'm thinking that is gonna be like one of the very first things that we do in 118 because of the light changes that are going to be happening because now in 118 light is not going to be nearly as powerful which is going to be awesome so it mobs won't spawn essentially in light has to be light level zero for mobs to spawn and so we won't have to have nearly as many torch spans and so we'll be able to hide a fair amount of lighting around here to make it so that pretty much all of this island is non-spawnable and i think that's going to be really really awesome it's gonna make life so so much better it's gonna be great but any hoozle let's go ahead get on in i'm gonna gather some more materials and i'll see you on the other side when this section is a complete oh boy is this video going to be a little bit late it is wednesday morning and this is when the video should be coming out but that's okay we are wrapping up recording because we're done and I think it's all looking pretty good. Now I'm not entirely done, but we're as done as we're gonna get for today. I've added a few different things. I added some crates and stuff around the town just to add, you know, a little bit of typical Minecraft type of filler. Crates down there, barrels, added our bell over there, and you know, standard things. But the main thing that we're done with 
is back there. Oh yes, we have most of that building stuff back there is done. And I need to add a couple of planters, but overall it's essentially done. All I need to do is texture variation on the build itself, add in some birch, and then add in, of course, some of the glow lichen around on the building. And then they'll be good. The buildings themselves will be good. And we can then just go through and make the andesite all the way up through here. And I think it's going to be really nice. I am very happy with how everything has turned out. It's looking really, really good. Of course, no interiors are done, but that's okay. I am just very pleased. So yeah, this area is done. And now over here is done as well. As you can see, a couple of trees added another swing over here just because I needed something to fill the space. Double tall, interesting azalea tree, of course. And I think everything's looking so nice. So I need to add a, I'm not going to add a tree here, but I think I'm going to add just like a garden or something like that. I think that'll be fine. And yeah, I'm, I'm so pleased with how everything is turning out. So I wanted to go into my camera account just to see what this is looking like. And I'm quite pleased with how everything's turning out. I mean, it looks so much more like an actual town now that everything is in all this little life stuff is made. Of course, there's small things that needs to be done, which I will do between now and next episode. But for the most part, this area is is near completion. I mean, we have the windmill section to do. We have a little bit of grass stuff over there and we have this like wall over here and then the like the kelp farm thing and we're good and I think it's oh it's just so nice it's so nice being this nearly this complete I think it's going to be so good when we have the windmill in I I really do I think it's going to make it feel even more complete and it's already I mean as you can see I didn't do the roofs and stuff and that back building didn't make it all the way in but for the most part like the facade and stuff is done like if we go down here yeah yeah, it just feels more and more like an actual town now that it has little bits of life in it. I think the these little bits of life are really, really important to do. They're a little bit of a pain to do sometimes, of course, but they are very important to do. So that is going to have to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I know we'll be getting into the windmill as soon as I come up with an idea for it that is actually legitimate. And I hope you guys have enjoyed... If you did, leave a like in real life, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Bird Build. Uh, bye bye.